Despite the growth in beds for Uganda hotels from 2000 in 2016 to 3000 beds in 2017, further development of the hotel industry now faces a hurdle from increasing taxes. We pay the hotel tax. We of course under that we are also paying licenses, the swimming pool license, the the conference license, etc. Then we pay the Occupational Safety and Act. Then we do have some new taxes. So, for instance, a copyright act was passed. So we pay about two million shillings for the right to play music in the hotels. But now we are going to be paying a further two million shillings to play videos in the hotels. Not to mention the other taxes that we pay, the normal ones, the payee, the income tax, the rental tax, the, the, the concession taxes for those in the national park. Their situation is compounded by what is affecting several other sectors, and that is access to and cost of finance. Most of the hoteliers have borrowed money to build these outfits. The interest rates in the banks are so high. Some of our hoteliers are closing down, they are selling their buildings. On the sidelines of the discussion, a 20-member delegation of Ugandan hoteliers have been flagged off to Chicago, USA for a 10-day benchmarking tour to learn from how hoteliers in this part of the world excel. Dorothy Nakawesi, NTV Business.